And David Pasternak named the third star of October. Eight goals in his eight in his last seven against the Maple Leafs. Your starting lineup brought to you by Molson. Molson in the National Hockey League. Over the line, Trent Frederick into Toronto territory. Back to Ian Mitchell. A shot kicked away on a redirect for Tavares can. And then a really important first save here for Samsonov and a difficult one. In his first four starts, has yet to allow more than two goals. Lowry works it ahead to Carlo. Those two were paired throughout the preseason. Lowry looked like he had a shot at making the team right out of camp. And so he is comfortable in this pairing with Brandon Carlo. Well, as much as you say preseason doesn't mean anything, there are those moments. Here's a chance at Samsonov. With a stop off Zaka from in tight. Battle at the side of the net as Danton Heinen works it back. Here is Lorai. Carlo slot scores. Pavel Zaka. Klingberg unable to make the play because of the poster knock hit. Then here, just shuttle it across. Slide down from the point, and how about this pass? Just such a calmness there. As Carlo, the right-handed shot, looks like he's going to shoot. You can see in front, Klingberg is halfway committed. Turns his body to go towards Pasternak, and instead, a shot pass across. So I like the fact that the organization has taken the tact of allowing him to stay past the 10. The big one will be, does he get to game number 40, which gets him one year closer to unrestricted free agency. Uh, lots of time to tell. You remember, Leon Dreisaitl in Edmonton played 39 and then went back to junior. Here's Zaka sending it across. A chance for Carlo from an angle. Rebound. Two stops by Samsonov in tight. You know, you back off the line, this is what can happen. It, that cross-seam pass just can't be available as Carlo jumps in, but Zaka with the nice pass through the seam and then stopping in front was Patra there and for Samson up even louder than the coach. Well, when he's saying he's helping us win games. I mean, that's the ultimate. Center to front. Big stop. Samson up off Morgan Geeky. So the Bruins come close, but Samson up shuts the door. Now Domi and he fired that high and off target glove side. It'll come to Klingberg. Leaps first foray into the Bruins. Zone. No stick. You got to get your stick into the player. 34 has got it now. Hit there by Lindholm. Puck came to the front of the net. Brody moves up. Now TJ Brody trying to swipe it, but Boston's away. Here's DeBrest moving in. Jake DeBrest sliding it through. Rebound scores. And DeBrest off the schneid with his first of the season. Okay, we got to get something going offensively. Brody dives to make the play, but can't get there. And now everybody coming back, but nobody's got DeBrusque in the slot. There's four Maple Leafs back coming hard to the net. And this is a flyby that Marner gets beat to the inside. Nice little soft pass there by Jake DeBrusque. And all Marchant's trying to do there is... Mason Lowry gets Hold the on. return pass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He'll stride in. Great stop by Samsonov. Lowry setting up Zaka in alone. And the Bruins said Lowry was close to making this team, and we've seen some evidence of it. Did that look like a kid playing his yeah. first game in the National Hockey League? Talk about confidence. Called him a rover at Ohio State, so he does have some offensive ability. Now the Leafs move back in. Marner from Matthews scores! There's the shot. Mitch Marner on the board. And then a, what a pass by Austin Matthews. And then the shot might have even hit Matthews or definitely deflected in front. But Matthews takes the defenseman one, one way, then comes back across. And yeah, that gets deflected. But much like the chance he had earlier, if Marner doesn't shoot that, they're still sitting without a goal. It's we do know that Marner's extended his point streak to five. Give away to Marner in front. Gary Kirk shot blocked. Back it comes to the line. Leaps within one and with momentum. Matthews fires. Stuck out in front. Lagason moves up. Shoulder to shoulder there along with Shattenkirk. 
Matthews behind the net. Finds Morgan Riley. Riley. Matthews. Martyr. And the Bruins pinned that shot up high on Swayman. Pumped down again by Lagesson doing good work. Matthews scores. Leaps have tied it. First Martyr. Now Matthews. And it's 2-2. Well, oh, there's your leadership of the team. It's just amazing what one goal does to just change the energy of your team and over the shoulder. And now just a quick little shuttle pass. Matthews, all his momentum is going backwards, but you see a back foot quick release and Swayman unable to adjust to it. The puck's on his stick and off so fast. Oh. Matthews around for Tavares. Nylander's in front and a shot stopped. The rebound in front again. Tavares. Oh, he... Sit it high. And back tight. Look at all the Bruins back in front. There's hardly any space, but a nice play by Marner. Little shuttle pass there by Nylander. He's not trying to shoot it. He's just trying to deflect it over to the side. And no, I don't think it hit anything. Tavares knew he had to get it. And Charlie Coyle kills some time. Marchand comes out, but it's moved ahead. And Matthews to the attack with Marner. Back to Matthews. Nylander. Kick back and all. Oh, Jeremy Swayman. Robbery there on what would have been an amazing four-way pass play. Matthews misses, took a stick up high. Tavares centers. In his four games this year, it looked like for sure with this passing back and forth, but Swayman just... Up ahead it goes with Nylander. William Nylander into the middle. Tavares in front, rebound stop. Two more chances, two more Swayman stops. But I like the fact that they got 15 shots on goal in the second. I think they have to have that same shot mindset here going into the third. But one of those vulnerable spots where you know you're a bit of a screen, and he did an excellent job of not allowing it to get through. Approaching five minutes of this third period. Bruins center up, Lurai sends it up, down. And it's under, it was loose from our perspective. Leafs get a quick whistle. Matthews able to get the kick save and then a bouncing puck as Lowry did a nice job of jumping down. Look at unable to return the pass. Danton Heinen's on the move. Heinen across. Oh, David Posterduck with a blast that hits iron. He took to another level. Watch this hard pass across and Posterduck absolutely ripped. The Leafs have only won 33% of the draws tonight. Charlie Coyle has been 15 and 3 and wins another so coiled matthews picked up by low ride morgan riley william nylander shot blocked by low ride nylander on it again riley for the win off the bar able to draw the penalty this game was almost <laughs> over here Look at this rocket of a shot. Got out to center, and so the Bruins start in. Penalty pending. Quattro! And Samsonov able to stop that. Riley up the boards. And the siren sounds, so we will go to a shootout tonight. In this one, and it's Debreska against Samsonov. Shoulder to give Boston an early edge. We, we've seen a lot where players have come in so slowly. Well, what does the speed do? The well, Nylander will try and get even for the leaps. William Nylander by Swayman. The season. I just kind of lost control of it right there. You can... Boston. Two goal lead in the shootout. Uh, you look at the body language of Samsonov. He, he's been battling so hard all night, and then two shots later, you know, he just didn't react well to that one at all. Didn't read what Coyle was wanting to do. Well, Matthews has to score. And he slid it through, but out the other side. And the Boston Bruins are now 9-0-1 as Jeremy Swayman backs up a 3-2.